if you'd like to capture and mix your internet browser source in the Elgato Wavelink software using your Wave 1 microphone, this is the tutorial video for you. I'm talking about Chrome, Firefox, Internet Edge, whatever you're using, it's all exactly the same. What do I mean by that? You can capture your, any audio from any of your internet browsers, whether it's YouTube, Spotify, some random video, I don't know, something on TikTok, whatever it may be, and you can route that all in through this digital mixer, Wavelink digital mixer, and have that be a part of a dynamic mix. This software comes for free with your Elgato Wave 1 microphone. Check it out, here's what you're gonna do. So first things first, pull up your internet browser and play something. So in this example, I'm just playing um, one of my tutorial videos on the Elgato Wave 3, okay? The reason why you're gonna play something as you're setting this up is it's going to activate this source in your uh, system so that you can actually route it into the software. So play something first, check, that's step one. Step two, you're gonna to go to one of your empty channels here in the Wavelink software, and you're going to click the plus button to add an input. I recommend adding a browser here, it just makes sense for your brain, right? Click the uh, menu down button, and then go ahead and name it whatever your internet browser is or whatever makes sense to your brain. For me, I'll choose Chrome, I'll say Chrome, uh, but for you, change it to something that makes sense to your brain and makes your life easier. I'm going to mute my monitor mix right now because you'll get feedback in this tutorial if I don't. Cool, that's step two. The th last step here to route everything through in your audio is to um, pull up this menu in uh, Windows. So in order to access this menu, what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in the word sound uh, in your search bar. And then once you type in the word sound, you're gonna see the sound mixer options right there as the menu. Choose that menu and that will let you route the audio in your system appropriately. That will bring up this menu. Now, I know you may get intimidated by all the menus here and it may seem confusing, but just do what I'm telling you to do and once you set it, you're setting it and forgetting it and it just works forever. So scroll down and as you can see, because we already started playing something in Google Chrome, uh, it has Google Chrome as a source here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the first drop down menu and you're gonna choose Wavelink Browser the thing we just set up, right? Browser in the Wavelink. And the second option, I don't like leaving it on default. I like selecting Wavelink Stream as a standard setting that I like to use, but you may have some other mixing configuration that you want. That's just a good standard option uh, for setups. Got it? So once you've done that, let's be clear. You now have your source playing in your browser. You have something playing. You've linked it in Wavelink software and you have it routed in your um, system. So now that you've done that, all the wires are connected, and so now all you have to do is unmute the playback on whatever you're playing, and there it is. All of our beautiful audio is coming through Google Chrome right here into this mixer, and we can now mix it as we see fit separate from our mic. So for example, I muted the monitor output here. That means that it's not coming through this monitor mix right here, nice. I could also mute the, the stream output and then it wouldn't be coming through our stream mix. We can also adjust the volume levels on the monitor mix, what we hear in our headphones, versus the stream mix, what the viewers are going to hear in the recording as we see fit. And, what, and what's really cool about this is you can choose whether you're listening to your monitor mix by clicking the ear here, or your stream mix by clicking the ear here, you choose. So you have the option here to choose to maybe listen to something on your internet browser without having your audience even hear it, right? And the way you would do that is by clicking the mute stream mix button and clicking unmute on the monitor mix and then you'll hear it, but the audience won't hear it. Or vice versa. If you want the audience to hear something, but you don't wanna hear it, mute it through your monitor mix here and then let it play back through the stream mix here. The options are endless for you to be able to do a simple digital mix of your internet browser source right here in the software versus every other audio source on your computer. So simple, right? Awesome. I hope you enjoy, the possibilities are endless, right? If you can pull in audio from an internet browser, and if you wanna pick up the Elgato Wave 1 and its official accessories, I'm gonna have some links below. Adios, amigos.